Our Farm Chicago is a nonprofit urban farm working to increase access to local organic produce. Executive Director Stephanie John Dunn joins us now with details on the work that they do and the September Swarway fundraiser coming up. Thank you yes. so much for being here. Yes, thank you for the invitation. I think people think like back of the yards, Canaryville area. Wait, mm -hmm. there's an urban farm there? Right. Actually, I think we might have the highest concentration of urban farms and community gardens across the city. Really? Um, which is just a really wonderful, resilient response of the community community and all the organizations that, that work together in the neighborhood um, to kind of combat the food insecurity that also exists yes, in the area. So yes. it's really amazing. So tell us a little bit about the work that you do. Yeah, so Star Farm has been around for eight years um, and we started out as a food access organization um, and farmer incubator education program. Uh, we work a lot with people with disabilities um, and a lot with um, BIPOC um, mothers as well to incubate their own urban farm businesses. So we have a lot of on-farm programs that we do to activate the community, um, build up like a safe green resource for the neighborhood. Um, but aside from growing the produce, a big part of our mission is to distribute it equitably. Yes. So we love working with um, institutions um, like the Greater Chicago Food Depository, um, Chicago Public Schools, um, hospital networks to try to get local, especially urban produced um, produce mm -hmm. onto their menus and into their clients. So we're trying to share that with people um, who need it the most. And this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is some of the produce that you Absolutely. guys grow. I actually just stopped by the farm this morning to, to grab some stuff. I'm like, Guadalupe, our oh farm man. Like, do gosh. we have corn? Do we have, can I grab some flowers and everything? So, yeah, so yeah. what do you grow there? Uh, yeah. We actually, um, we grow about 40 different varieties wow. of produce. Um, so we try to complement um, what we grow with some of like the freshest things that are most successful in an urban environment. So mm -hmm. a lot of quick growing greens, um, fruiting crops, vegetables, lots of flowers. So it's a mix of experimenting with what we can grow yeah. and um, grow in, at a high rate because we have a lot of mouths to feed. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. then also just, you know, enjoy, you know, and share with the community. Now, so. I saw, we were looking at some of the pictures. Uh -huh. Is it outdoor and indoor? Like, do you guys operate year-round? Yes. We do, actually. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we actually, we have a lot of storage crops that we use to continue to serve the community okay. year-round. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, four food pantries that we work with. Um, we have a couple other community organizations that we regularly serve wholesale on top of our CSA clients and our farmer's market and our new grocery store that we're opening up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, people yeah. can actually come in and purchase. Mm -hmm. a lot of the produce that's going to be opening what at the end of the year uh, we're going to be doing a soft launch at the end of the year for the community okay. and then we'll be doing a big rollout in the new year so oh, wow yeah. do you yeah. find there's a huge um push or I, I should say a, a, an outcry for these types of fruits mm -hmm. and vegetables? I would say that there's a lot of appreciation for things that are grown and harvested fresh. Mm -hmm. um, when we go to serve our clients, the thing is we also work with them to figure out what's a culturally relevant product. So sure. we know that we are going to go to this pop-up at a senior residence and they want a lot of collard greens, they yes. want a lot of peppers, or they want a lot of papalo and cilantro. And they really appreciate the freshness and the variety of that because that's mm -hmm. something that's usually lacking in the neighborhoods that we work in. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we're really excited to be doing all these mobile market pop-ups, senior residence pop-ups, but um, with the grocery store, not only are we going to have like a permanent community asset um, that folks will be able to access on a regular basis, but we're also going to be the third provider in the state of Illinois to accept link card transactions on oh, right. our website and be able to deliver to those clients oh, as well. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Yes. Okay, well, let's talk about your September soiree mm -hmm. yes. because uh, you got a big party to absolutely. celebrate all that you guys do. Yes, absolutely. No, we, um, you know, we fit in usually 75 pop-ups during the summertime and we had maybe 7,000 people come through the farm for summer programs so we use our September soiree to celebrate yeah. um, and so we invite a lot of our community partners we celebrate our disability farmers program um, highlight our incubator farmer stars um, and we have a wonderful five course um, dinner planned and and just a beautiful new farm that we finished building out so this is gonna be the first year um, we have a new farm headquarters in the neighborhood so it's much bigger um, it's gonna be fantastic we really want people to come out and just enjoy it um, and take some selfies with some flowers and um, mm -hmm. enjoy some really fresh local produce. That's amazing. Mm. Are you also teaching people how to farm themselves? Because mm. I'm noticing when I go to the different uh, farmers, uh, not the farmers markets, but the different stores, I'm seeing more fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. that there's seedlings for or seeds. And so there seems like there's a huge interest for people to actually grow yes. those themselves. Are you teaching them how to do yeah, it? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do workshops um, with Chicago public libraries and in the schools um, oh, on awesome. how to grow food. Because, you know, even if you have a balcony spot um, where you can put a bucket, you can 
fit a couple plants in the bucket. So we love for people to um, grow food for themselves and the creative ways that they do that in the urban area. So um, we definitely do that on top of like our uh, farmer training programs. Oh, Stephanie, this awesome. is awesome. So many cool things going yes. on there. Uh, check out the September Soiree 2024 on Saturday, September 16th. It's from 6 to 10 p.m. over there on Carpenter Street. Star Farm Chicago is social media handles. StarFarmChicago.com is the website. You can order food, check out everything they're doing. Wonderful work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Thank you.